Hello there, NFL 2K5 lovers. Uh, this is Bad Al again. I'm dropping a new uh, short video just to talk about the latest release of NFL 2K5 tool. You can get it on my uh, GitHub at this URL right here. Um, the major um, features in this release are PS2 Mac support, some bug fixes, exception handling, um, there's a there's a new check attributes menu, an enhanced uh, face selection form, and the edit coach form. I just want to go over um, these things real quickly uh, so that you guys can get started on using the tool a little bit more efficiently. Okay, here when you download, you'll have all these files in here. Uh, new in this release is this armax dll dll. I believe this is the same kind of um, this is the same deal I think Finn used in his um, NFL 2K5 editor. And then we have, uh, I also put in a base roster max file. So that's, that should be the base roster from um, visual concepts in, in, in a PS2 file. All right, let's go ahead and start it up. And let's load up, uh, load up a save. Let me pick one from over here. Yeah, this is a week eight, uh, two, 2K21 uh, week eight file that uh, I've been working on with Lost Soul. Uh, list contents works as usual. We have now um, uh, the also not only PS2 support, we can also cross save. So we can, um, here, let's see, let's clear this one out. I'll just show you real briefly. Here's a PS2 roster. That's the contents. Um, just give this one. Okay, I'm on bad now. Um, let's do a save. It over here. Now let's, um, that was a PS2 file we loaded. Now let's say that we want to, and the zip is an Xbox file. We'll select that one. Oh, it's read only. Oops, okay. So then we'll go into properties. Uncheck read only. Okay, now we'll select it again. Okay, now we'll drag this one in here. see that the uh, um, odd plumber's name was updated to uh, Ahmad Bad Al. So hopefully that saves some time um, not having to use the other tools to open up PS2 and um, uh, Xbox packages. Okay. Um, so the next uh, major upgrade um, we can see, let's look at the face form. Here's a Mont Plumber right here. Now, bring up the face form. Now, first of all, these faces are, uh, these are bigger images. We have an option down here to show numbers so that we can see what numbers those, um, what number of faces those things are. And then if you look down here in the bottom left corner, we have um, a combo box with a few different options. So um, if you want to, uh, let's say, choose a face for somebody that, um, like, you know, is, um, is uh, African American, we can select dark players. And then um, if, and then you can scroll through here. If you, let's say, you know that, okay, he's African American, he's bald. Okay, go ahead, select dark bald. And um, so we have these, these guys will say, okay, now I'm looking for a Caucasian bald guy, light bald. Okay, we'll choose that option. Um, we could also, um, take a look at how these are specified. So if we look at, um, this folder where NFL 2K5 tool is located in the player fold in the player data folder, 
there's this face form categories.json right here. And I'm going to go drag that into my text editor. And this is basically where it um, gets that data from for those different categories. Uh, so this, uh, this file is meant to be as obvious as possible. Where we have um, JSON objects, uh, one of the properties is keys, one of the properties is values. And that values is an array of numbers co that corresponds to um, these numbers up here. If we have, um, these ones will have leading zeros, but um, in, the, um, in this JSON file, there should be no leading zeros. And um, one of the things that, uh, well, the way that I basically build up these lists was by um, a feature that I ended up just leaving in here, just in case somebody wanted to create more categories. We can right click down here on the bottom of the uh, form and go, go into a classify mode. And let's say that um, our new, in our new mode, we want to have, um, let's say we want to select um, dark skin toned players with facial hair and light skin toned players with facial hair. So I can say, okay, I'm gonna left click on um, the dark skinned facial hair and I'm gonna right click on the light skinned facial hair. So then, okay, this guy has a little bit of facial hair and him and him and this guy is light. Uh, he kind of, kind of does. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yep. 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 And I would go basically through this whole thing, looking for those, um, looking for those um, different qualities. Now, if I right click on here again, I can go to display classifications. And we see where we have um, this JSON right here. We can also use middle click that that'll also um, that's another option that we can do. But so the way that this is intended to be used is you would take these, you would uh, copy it and then bring it over to your um, to your face form categories. Delete that trailing comma there, uh, and then try to format it like um, the rest of the file. Like that, and then um, Left so with that, we'll, we'll change the name of the key here. Um, dark with face hair. Light with face hair, okay. We'll save that file. Um, we'll close this down, close, close close and go back up into the tool. And then we'll reload up a file. Now, when we click on the face form, we can see that we have these new categories down here at the bottom. Right here, dark with face hair, light with face hair. And those are the guys I I clicked on before. And if you have new categories that you'd like to share, um, do that. And then you can share those in the uh, NFL 2K5 form, which you can um, get to from this about box right here. Here's the uh, form on operation sports for NFL 2K5 tool. So then scroll down um, and post a reply here letting us know what your new category is and, and then attach the, um, the JSON file or um, the, the new JSON uh, mappings that you come up with.
Okay. So, this next is kind of, it's not much of a, not much of a feature, but it's just kind of a convenience thing. I put in the debug dialog, um, this list depth charts thing. This is not something like it, you can't, um, change this and feed it back into the program, but it just kind of lists what your depth is for each position. Like, so here's your number one quarterback, number two quarterback. Here's your number one wide receiver, your number two wide receiver, and, and on and so forth. Um, just, yeah, so you can see kind of, um, kind of easily, it shows your, your special teamers too. Um, and the next thing I wanted to mention was this check menu right here. This, this check menu, um, it can uh, just check a few often um, thing or some things that are often messed up in game save files, uh, like like the face in the skin. Sometimes you'll have a guy with a light light skin specified, but he's he's got a dark face. Um, our dark um, skinned photo. And so checking this operation will um, run through some checks and then it will provide for you um, some text that is meant to be pasted, in, pasted into this area right here that you can then use the player edit form to, um, to modify and then apply. So this about item right here kind of just says what I just um, said right there. Check operation results are crafted to be pasted into the main text area. Uh, they are built to be lookup and modify commands and editable with the player edit form unless otherwise stated. The intended workflow is you run the check operation, copy the results, paste into the main text area, and then basically uh, double click on the player to modify. Um, verify or change as attributes and go to the next player and then press OK once you're done. Um, and that will um, craft the text to be applied. And then you would apply the data to the game save to then correct those deficient, well, those what were caught as deficiencies. Let's try that with um, check faces and skin. Let's see if we can find anything on this uh, save file. Um, we didn't find anything here on that one. Let's, let's check the dreads. Michael Bennett. There's not, there's not a lot. Let's try another file. Let's try an older file. Okay. Let's check this one. Let's check. Okay. This one's got a lot. So what, what I've, crafted here uh, is, is some text. Like, so you can see that right here, this pound sign means it's a comment. So this pound sign means this entire line is going to be ignored by the input parser when we apply the data to the game save. But in this case, it's kind of, it kind of tricks the player edit form into um, loading and uh, operating correctly because the player form needs to have a team. It's just it's just the way that it's um, created right now. And I um, didn't feel like um, losing that requirement because it was going to be kind of a hassle. This is a little workaround for that. So I just put team equals free agents, but it's not really a team equals free agents. Um, what it really is is a lookup and modify command, as you see right here. If you want to learn more about lookup and modify, I did post another video on um, on the tool that uh, covered that operation, and that is um, linked to. Here, let's copy this first. That is linked to in this this very first link right here. If you want to watch that video, okay, so we'll paste this into here. And so let's take a look at the first one here. So he has no photo, that's fine. 
Um, this guy is skin one. Hey, he's, he's got pretty, yeah, he's, that's fine. Skin six and this face, that's, that doesn't really go together. Um, so if you want to fix, if you want to fix this issue, um, I often wanted to copy and paste this guy's name and, and put it into the browser to do a search to see what he looked like. So if you right click right here, you can copy the player name and then, um, I like DuckDuckGo and then we paste it into here and look at images for Chris Banjo. Okay, so that really doesn't look like uh, this guy. So let's see if we can find a better match. So he's bald, so let's check out. Nothing really great. Okay, this guy's at least wearing a, a red jersey too. Okay, and then there, here's the next player button to go on to the next one. This that one's a, a, a no photo. Okay, oh, okay, that one's probably fine. Skin three, oh, but that's Kyler Murray. I don't think Kyler Murray looks like that. He's not bald either. Let's see, what's a good Kyler Murray photo? Ooh, man, this Rahib isn't bad. It's not perfect. It's not, you never, you're not going to find anything perfect, right? Kyler kind of has like a little, little like short, um, short dreads. Uh, See if we can find uh, even this isn't that good for him. Um, really not finding anything too good. Okay, we'll just use that one for now. And and so the idea is you would just go in the next, you'd correct all these things, you would click OK, and then um, since this is already in a, the lookup and modify format, we would then say, okay, apply data without saving. And so it's gonna just take this and it th put it through the input parser and apply all the data. So then now when we check again, we'll see that Chris Banjo, he, he's not on this list, but there's still in this, in this particular one, there's plenty, um, plenty more to operate on. Let's do a quick check on dreads. Okay, there's not too many. Oh yeah, copy all. Paste. Okay. Yeah, okay, we'll say he has, we'll say Kyler has dreads. Okay, that one. Sure, that's fine. And we'll apply. Run the check again, just to verify. Okay, for some reason it didn't work with Michael Bennett. But okay, whatever. Um, the next thing uh, that we can uh, check special teams. This one will check to make sure that there aren't any weird returners for, aren't any like linemen returning punts or kicks. Let's see what we come up with. Okay, no issues were found. Uh, let's see. Oh, also, um, if we, I added if I added this feature just to reset the key so that we can quickly um, reset all of the attributes that get listed. I do suggest you look at the first video to figure uh, or to see more about what the key is. Normally, or before this, we would basically write a line like that and then go uh, apply data without saving. But now you could do that, or you can just go to this reset key. And so now when we reset the key, it lists the contents. So it'll reset the key to show all of the stuff. And oh yeah, let's also list special teams. And let's make the Niners special teams messed up. Let's. 
instead of um, wide receiver returning kicks, let's have QB1 returning kicks. Now let's check out. See, now it sees, okay, we had, we found this, this isn't right. That guy isn't supposed to be returning kicks because he's a quarterback. And you could, and you could basically um, copy that, paste it below, actually delete that line. And then um, change this to WR, let's see, WR4, apply it. Let's check again. And it says, says down here, no issues were found for special teams. Now, uh, this often has messages in there. Uh, instead of giving a, a pop-up for messaging, sometimes I just put a message down here just to be less annoying. So let's see here, what else do we have to check? Okay, um, height, weight, body type. This one requires the text to be present here. And um, then we'll check that one, see what we come up with. Copy it. Okay, and so this one, it says that um, and this it's it's fairly arbitrary. You might want it set up this way, but it sees that Fred Warner is um, listed as skinny, even though he's six three and two thirty. So it probably um, is saying that he probably should be normal body type. And then Jordan Reed says he's um, 6'2", 243, it says he should probably be of a normal body type too. Um, so let's see if we fix those two. Let's apply this one. Let's run it again. Oh. I'll reset the key because we just set it for the lookup and modify. Oops, yeah, this one. Yeah, those two were fixed and now it's it's um, listing the other ones there. Okay. So uh, the last thing I wanted to um, show was the coach form. So the, the option to show coaches is down here. So then we can list the contents. And then um, if we double click on a, a line of text or a coach here, it brings up this uh, coach edit form. Um, this one doesn't have a face assigned. We could assign, um, could assign a face to him if we want to. Um, we can go to the next coach, so on and so forth. Um, we can also specify the full attributes. And so then there is going to be these other two tabs that are now filled out with information that you can um, modify. Uncheck that one. See here in this case, these are empty. Okay. Um, that's all that I really wanted to um, mention. If we, um, if we look at the about, like you can get to the YouTube tutorial from here. Here's the GitHub forum and uh, here's a Discord community link right here for NFL 2K5, uh, Operation Sports uh, Football Index. And then if you don't know about this 2K5 roster site, it's pretty cool too. Um, they, they also have a uh, PS2, PS3 um, section if you prefer to play on PlayStation. Well, I don't want to take up any more of your time. Um, just wanted to uh, show you a little bit more about the new features. You can download it now over on GitHub 
and um, well, have a great day.